get in tuned with your vision, you know, meditate daily and visualize your outcomes daily, visualize your dreams, be the energy of your dreams and, and be ask the questions and, and, and the universe will deliver. Hey everybody, it's George Carroll. Welcome to this week's Motivational Minutes. And in this week's Motivational Minutes, we're talking about the information tipping point. So you may have read a book a long time ago, or maybe recently, I don't know, called The Tipping Point by Malcolm Gladwell. Well, this I call the information tipping point, and it's kind of the spinoff of that concept of the book. And here's what the information tipping point is. There's a, a sort of a debate, if you will, uh, between different schools of thought on how to achieve our dreams, how to achieve our goals and targets in life and in business. And there's one you know, primary school of thought that says take massive action. Just keep taking action. Know what you want, make a plan, and take massive action. And that works. That does work to a certain degree for many people. And then there's a, this other school of thought that says, you know, really get in tuned with your vision. You know, meditate daily and visualize your outcomes daily. Visualize your dreams. Be the energy of your dreams. And, and be ask the questions and, and, and the universe will deliver. And, you know, and, and, and I don't mean to make fun of that school of thought because I practice these things daily, but it's just kind of what came out in the moment. And and that school of thought also works because when we tune our energy and we tune our frequency to that which we desire, that which we desire begins to piece into our experience. Now, the question is, is what's more effective? Is it taking, getting a plan, knowing what you want, getting a plan, taking massive action until you get there? Or is it visualizing and meditating and, and, and becoming the energy of your dreams? <laughs> well, they both work. And the, the key distinction is the information tipping point. So, for example, when I first started my business, I knew I wanted to be a speaker. I knew I wanted to be a trainer. I knew I wanted to facilitate groups of people as part of my business. And I didn't know anything about public speaking. So I joined Toastmasters, you know, I read books on speaking, I, you know, went to workshops on speaking, I went to, um, I listened to different audio programs on speaking, I mean, I have one right now, right here from uh, my mentor James Malinchek, and you know, he's got this whole series, and one of them is on speaking. And so I'm, the information tipping point is when you have a specific target or focus that you, of a skill that you're wanting to enhance or a vision that you're wanting to move toward, the information tipping point is about gaining as much information as you can, valuable, relevant information based on the targets and the goals that you want to achieve and filling your mind up with that information. And there becomes an information tipping point. The more you read, the more workshops you go to, you know, the more seminars you go to, the more mentors you hire, and you know, the, you know, the more you invest in yourself, you get to this information tipping point where you have enough information, you have enough knowledge, you have enough wisdom now where that tipping point just goes boom, kind of like big tree falling in the forest, timber, and when that happens, that's when a natural action shows up.